God. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna do a volume check here. Oh, Jesus. I was sitting here talking to myself like a crazy person. I didn't realize that uh, I didn't hit my go live button. Oh man, the time today and everything. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. Saturday. This turned into my, like, my version of Saturday morning cartoons stage. No, granted, it's, it's lunch, so maybe not exactly morning, afternoon. intro here because I'm actually going to get right into it today but in a, a slightly different uh, order I'm thinking possibly we'll see how this goes uh, but I'll explain why so uh, welcome to my channel everybody for anybody popping in live who always appreciate that I'll always hit a if you haven't already hit a like subscribe I guess you know, for that algorithmic purposes so that Duke Nukem can live forever um, but uh, we kind of come around every single Saturday here and do a little live stream here uh, where we chronicle some progress on a little a little bit of everything that we're working on. It all seems to be, I want to say build themed because I don't want to necessarily limit the channel entirely to Duke Nukem because to be honest, my fascination with the build engine. Right now I'm very, very much stuck on Duke Nukem because that's where I'm building around. But one day maybe we'll play some Shadow Warrior, play around with some stuff with that too. Um, and some, some blood at one point. No, just just soak in a little bit. <laughs> Plus, there's some pretty wacky total conversions for Duke Nukem, anyways, that are pretty much not Duke Nukem. Starship Troopers, it's not Duke Nukem. Come on, Starship Troopers. But uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so what we do on this channel here is uh, I'm kind of learning how to map of my on my own here. Uh, every Saturday is pretty much the time when I I get to try to do it, as well as doing some let's plays sometimes on Sundays. And uh, I'm chronic, kind of chronicling my journey here as I go along so that I can monitor my own progress, uh, make sure I don't give up because I, I tend to abandon projects. So this is this is pretty, pretty good for not abandoning a project so far. Uh, like, I know this is episode. What episode did I have this on? 25. But realistically, it's like episode 40, I think, because I, I just split off, split off some shows into their own like separate playlist and started naming these ones in a weird way. Um, but so that's pretty good. And I'm um, chronicling my journey, <laughs> journey, I uh, journey making these maps or at least trying to make something. I haven't like finished anything yet. And what we've been doing lately is uh, working on a map like this. Um, this, this is the part we might change a little bit today is my, Realize maybe you're, you're operating in silence. Or completely apologize. Notice the music stopped when I pushed the headphones. Um, so I'm gonna load up this just so you can see what we were working on. And we're gonna continue working on this today. Uh, hit by daylight savings. Uh, I was hit by daylight savings two weeks ago, I think. Um, I believe. Maybe three. 
Maybe not that long. My, my concept of times always sucks, by the way. Parse away every time I, I think. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can whip out something in an hour here when we're mapping. And then an hour later, I'm like, well, I made a shelf, guys. Congratulations. And then there's other days where I can just whip up an entire room in 20 minutes. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, daylight savings time for me hit a couple. And I, w I will say it came at the best time for me because especially where I guess it gets just so dark in winter. Um, being a Canadian, I'm OK with winter like I've 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 learned to relatively love it, right? Like it doesn't bother me. But the one thing that I do hate about day, uh, winter is daylight savings time, like how it impacts it, because it means that it's it's so dark here. And uh, especially when I work from home. So I work in a room, which is where I play my games in, which has no windows. So I work there eight hours. And by the time I'm done my shift, I will want to get some fresh air, step outside, pitch blackout. So I never see the sun all winter. There's like, except for the weekends, that's it. That's all I'll get, um, which means outside all weekend outside of this stream. Um, but so finally, daylight savings time shifted and I can see the sun again. And actually, it's, it's uh, so nice now. Not temperature wise, there's snow everywhere outside. Still. Uh, but anyways, that was a, that was a sidetracked. Uh, this is what we've been working on, which is a little mall here that we're kind of building out. Uh, so we've been building this uh, an hour or so every stream for the past couple weeks um, where usually I was kind of working on something off screen and then just updating people on my progress. Now I've kind of started cramming something new uh, to do on stream with you guys. And so that way we can kind of contribute to this project together. And for people who want to kind of learn how to do this on their own or and just kind of curious how this would work, uh, maybe get some behind the scenes knowledge seen how some games are made or made obviously not all of them are going to use this kind of engine but i it, it's kind of interesting seeing uh especially this is called mapster 32 um, anybody new it's a level level editor for duke nukem 3d uh, shadow warrior you have uh blood more modern stuff like ion fury i want to say i know it's not switch so not so many times just once but Pretty sure I still like Ion Maiden better, but I understand. Um, anyways, and it's a 2.5 DM engine similar to uh, Doom, and I just aesthetically find it pleasing. I like that 2D-ish aspect that you get, um, retro feel, but with the modern day works and additions that have been added over time, you get a lot of, a lot of nice enhancements where you can add a lot of detail if you really want, and um, I think that's one of my more interesting thing. I've always thought it would be an interesting idea. Like when you hear some 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 crazy man like John Carmack state how the Xbox 360 wasn't using its full potential or whatever when he was talking about rage much as like just as a thought experiment. I'm like, yeah, what happens if you had somebody super, super into something like John Carmack and really focus on a very specific piece of hardware and try to maximize that efficiency um his rage wasn't really that like he was still focusing on stuff but what happens if we did that with old stuff like somebody go back to the playstation one and say like let's try to really make something not necessarily graphically impressive but with all our knowledge and know-how we built could we do more with that system than we could have done back then um and i feel that way with this engine it's uh, too bright and too hot here for me. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of heat heat. No, it's kind of like where uh, people who live up, live in the heat probably are just used to that. They're like, I don't that cold. I'm just used to that cold. So the cold doesn't bother me because you just layer yourself. That's all you do differently. Um, so the part we might do differently today uh, is I might actually swap the map exceptions. And I'll explain why. I might flip it. Um, what the demo scene used to do? See, maybe it was just I was never into to that world, right? So I, I I don't know what I was missing here. 
Um, so yeah, this is what we've been building, and we're going to continue building this. We start working on this area. This is a, a weird little Bass Pro shop, and this is the reason I'm thinking about switching things around today. Is um, so one of the things where I, I would like to to happen in here is uh, so this is in Bass Pro Shop or at any big outdoors store, store I should say um, that I've seen. To be fair, there's only one that is by me, but then when I looked it up, it turns out it's just a thing, like it's a, it's a thing. <laughs> where they have these giant aquariums where they throw fish and stuff in it, like. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, they make it look like outdoors. I, I guess I could show you pictures. You know, in case people don't know what a bass bro is. I'm pretty sure it's an American. Like, a fishing company. I'm not, I'm not a fisher myself. This is like, this is Bass Pro Shop. So I see this madness here. Let me make this a little bigger. Oh, here they go. Uh, uh, let me, let me just set this here. I'm not gonna read the article. I'm just I'm just looking for the pretty pictures here. But like this is Bass Pro Shop and Wild. Why is this only uh sorry just a second. The, the, why is it that you only work on this project every few days? Um I am terribly terribly drained every other day. So just the nature of what I do. I don't do anything like that's physically taxing, but it's so mentally taxing that I'm just so tired every day that I, by the time like work's done, as much as I want to work on stuff, I don't always have the time because I'll go, um, so I'll work for like nine to five. Then I go for an hour to two hour hike every day. I should like not an intensive hike, more like a walk, I guess I should say. Uh, that's my form of like exercise. And then I'll come back and I'll make dinner and by the time that's done, like your day's done, your day's done. Adulting sometimes just takes a lot of time. So for me to kind of work on like a hobby or anything I'm interested in, even like playing a game, I kind of feel like I need at least two or three hours, I feel, to get that ramp up period for me. Because it's not like I can just dive into something and then I'm just on fire, which is partially why a lot of things I work on take so long. This looks like a UFO, this one. Looks like a UFO. Sorry, I'm gonna get distracted here. Um, yeah, so so once you do that, that for me. Um, so one of the things I'm kind of slowly doing over time is trying to optimize everything I do so I can get more time, which hopefully means I could work on it more um, during my off time as well, because I'd have more off time to do it. And so part of the reason I do this too is so it at least forces me so that I at least work on it, or at least work on it while I'm streaming. So I never completely abandoned it because I, I can never make time. This gives me an opportunity just to make that time for myself. And then I get to share it with you. Uh, we don't have those, but we do have the world's only Sumerian. What is a Sumerian? Sumerian? An aquarium with many sea creatures. So an aquarium. What is what is the difference between is this it? The deep? I don't know if there's only one Samarium in the world. I will say whatever building this is though, that's a that's a weird looking building. Like, I do like this. 
I, I like all aquariums, like visually cool reference. But so, yeah, that's what we're working on. We're working on this weird Bass Pro Shop thing. Um, but it's not going to be a Bass Pro Shop specifically. So we're using this as like a reference just because I think it's fun to do an outdoor area indoors. And I'm I'm still I still think outdoor areas are the weakest aspect of Duke Nukem if we're using stock assets. So um, <clears throat> Uh, so it, it's more of a situation where I can do a, a tiny version of it to experiment with. And I think it would still be a cool visual as well. Um, sizing wise, I don't think we're going to go this, this big. But anyways, the reason why I'm thinking about switching it up and maybe doing the Let's Play first and then uh, jumping into a mapping. And then I do have actually other maps planned for today, too, depending on time. And so we might kind of flip flop back and forth a little bit today just to experiment because we're we want this to be underwater and there's a way i know i could do this i think a hundred percent but i don't know if i want to do it that way um just because i think i want to try something else to experiment with uh how to do it I like I, I I don't know if I, I really truly think I understand it which is sector over sector truly I, even though I've done it and I'll show you yeah so we want this to be underwater and the idea here is your character little Duke here not not this guy this guy's bad um, Duke Nukem has to get this key for whatever reason we haven't decided what and realistically this is a trap so this is meant to lure Duke into the aquarium to get the key and then once he gets in the water, it would close. So Duke can't get out of the water once he's in here. Um, like he's just stuck, help me. And he has to get out and he has to like find something to blow up or, or whatever. It's not a super complicated trap. These aren't smart aliens, even though they fly intergalactically. Not not too smart. Okay. But so that's what, what's going to happen in this aquarium area. But that means this would have to be underwater. So there's a few different ways I, I I think we could do this. One of the ones I know 100% I could do, because I at least fundamentally know how to do it now, is I could just do a Troar layer. I could do true two, technically four, I guess. I'd have to do, if we really wanted to break this into big, chunky quadrants, is I could probably do like one, and then you'd have a top layer here, and I'd need another layer here and another layer here before I could then get rid of a chore layer, I think. I, that's the only thing I'm, I'm not good at is maybe chore layers side by side. But so that way you could see underwater here, and this would be underwater, and then go up top and go down. I could do it a different way as well, where we actually fake all this. So Duke would never actually go in this section right here, um, where the water is, and instead, what happens is when you get up here to go into the water, you teleport. So this is just kind of like a fake front, and this is all sprites at the top for the water. We can shade this blue to make it look like it's underwater, maybe pick some, put some bubbles or something. But the idea is the player would never occupy this same space uh, for the trap part that would be actually underwater. So it would just teleport you into an identical version of this over here. Um, because what I, one of the things I was thinking of is when you go up here, because it's a trap, really there's, no, you'll still fight people, but so you'll fight people. But then what I, what I wanted is when you go in here, if you were to look out the glass, you'd see a bunch of aliens surrounding or teleporting in around the glass because it's a trap. And then you have to kind of figure out while they just watch and laugh as Duke drowns, but he doesn't drown, um, you know? So that's that's the thought. So like, tour layer where we do uh, one layer where the glass gets cut off here, and that's the one level. And then you have your, your second tour layer here, and then we'd have that like two tour layers here, and then maybe merge it down into one. You have just one single layer again of cake, tour cake. Um, and that way you could have both operating in the same space. We could do a teleport or the one where 
we're thinking we can do is a sector over sector situation, but that's the one I can't quite figure out because in this, um, where is it? Not this one. So in my little weird experiment here, like here's your sector over sector that I know of. So you have your, you go into this room. Oh no, this isn't the one. Or did I not save it? Wasn't it, when I, did I not save it? Okay, whatever, I'll make it right now. I'll make it right now just so you can understand. So we're in this room, okay? We're gonna go in here. Okay, run in here. We're gonna make this just a. Uh, uh, two, three. We're gonna make this a hallway, right? So this is a hallway. Right? We can all understand this hallway. Dead. There's a wall because we haven't really gone anywhere. So the sector over sector I understand is this. So technically, right? We're in that room, so we, we're in this little water room. Actually, let's let's make this close. So I don't have to run so, so far. Okay, so we're in this weird water room, which is weird on its own. It's weird to turn off. Uh, and we're, okay, so we're in this big room. Now we're gonna go in the hallway. Go in the hallway. Go in the hallway. You know, now we haven't shifted anywhere, so right now we're occupying the same space as the room we were just in, but it's not the same room because we haven't gone up at all. Now we could, but that's the sector over sector I, I understand. So the idea of wedging the sector over sector I'm wondering if we could do is where we could have that glass see through but I don't know how I would and the one map that I know for sure does sector over sector like that in a way is this this is Billy Boy's big light and I don't know if this is going to work because I think all the textures are broken <laughs> Maybe it's because of how this sector over sector stuff works. I, I, I don't know. Uh, not this one. But out here. How do you... I don't even think this is going to work. I can't even show you, really. Um, but, like, this is... Uh, Hotel is uh, probably fairly close to what you're after. But you can't see over the top. And that's what I want. That's what I want. Hotels here. Hell. Make up, have to make up most of the fake underwater area with sprites. Well, and that's why it's like, I, I'm thinking about just making a scene and having you teleport away, because if I, I teleport you away, um,
I can I can just automatically have the enemies there where where you're going to teleport to. So it's like an instant effect where you see that them teleported the moment you dive under the water um, as a trick. And you just replicate a portion of that Bass Pro Shop, uh, like it, make a duplicate version of it for that teleport section. So like I think it, like I definitely know how I could do it and still make it seem seamless to the player. But at the same time, I think it would be fun if I could make it one area. Because my thought is, what I could do is, when you dive down in the sector over sector area, you you would drop down, and because you're in a new sector, I would just make it so you couldn't surface, like the roof would be solid, um, and instantly switch to like a, a force field or something. Uh, it's level eight, right? Is that... Come get some. Um, I just wanna, I just wanna see what, what you're talking about here. Um, I'll turn Polymost on. fly uh in mapster but i don't have the maps unpacked where my mapster is i could uh do dn crows um maybe we will maybe we will a dn dn show map This it? Oh, this is it. Okay. Man, I I I barely remember this map. Why do I feel like I barely remember this map? Maybe it's because I also have not played it on uh, Come Get Some when I was a kid, so I definitely... I definitely don't remember the battle words like this. Um, anyways, so this is... this. <laughs> Where was that? It's over here. It's over here. Okay, so th this is what you're thinking of? Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. But I definitely think it would be cool to see the top, because I want it to be an obvious trap kind of situation. Um, by the way, do you have to exit underwater only by going up? Is that Because I'd love to do it by the side, but me of this. Um, anyways, that's besides the point. So yeah, I'm going to switch it up a little bit and, and do the mapping section after, because I, I want to I ponder on that a little bit. I want to think about it, give it a little think on which one I want to do for that section. Um, and maybe we'll see something that inspires us for while we're playing and we can kind of feed into that for the mapping section. So I'm gonna... A little readme section open here. I'm using an older version of Eduke for this one just because I don't know. Actually, I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'll need to. I just don't know if I want to play it safe, you know, because it's an older map from 2012.
independent version. Mm. We'll try the new one, just because the old one, I keep, if I forget, it, I'll crash it very easily, and I just don't want to do that. Won't do that at all. Um, granted, this is going to be a quick readme read, because I, if I remember correctly, it's, uh... Also, uh, I... CK3D mentioned in my that my description is wrong, so I mentioned tro potentially, I should say. I was... I, I don't... I'm trying not to spoil stuff when I haven't played a map yet, so I didn't really want to look at much or read anything, but I was skimming through stuff for review uh, to see if I could maybe get inspiration for like a more complicated screenshot or a thumbnail. And, uh, but because I don't want to spoil myself, I'm not really trying to pay attention to, to things. I'm just trying to see if I could see words. And I saw Tror and uh, I was like, just assume that was this. And they were mentioning something, but I think they might have been a different map in the review. So my description right now is wrong. I want to fix it. Um, but yeah, this is by Taibo Maripu at Maripu. Um, I'm actually going to add this to um, this, actually. Just while I have you guys on stream so you can hold me accountable for stuff that I keep thinking I'm going to do. Gonna, I'm gonna add him to my list. Kind of, kind of categorize everybody here that I play on the channel. Check. Probably is, but I don't want to figure it out. Again, I told everybody I'm trying to build systems for myself, <laughs> which probably makes things more, way more complicated for myself. But um, there's a reason why. Yeah, I start. I start working on this. So I got Bob Masters here, all done. Even the maps he hasn't played, and then you can click it. And I started to. Um, go over and make uh, start retaking thumbnails, but I did the did it in full screen instead of widescreen um, just so we could get the HUD elements right for all the maps that we've been playing and try to actually take it of every single section. Um, so this was Lost Contact. Starship Troopers. Just to see different elements that the map would offer. Some of the screenshots I still want to retake. It's, sometimes it's hard to get the flashing lights. I want to get it when maybe some certain lights are on. Lights are on, but I also have so many maps to go over. Um, yeah, I did that for him. High treason is done. You can go on and it will click it. You can watch uh, each of the streams. Download all the maps, including the ones I haven't played yet, because I feel like it'll be easier to find them. Oh. And, and all that. Nitroglycerin. Which also meant I replayed all the maps. That was fun. Uh, but anyways, I'm doing that moving forward for everybody. And so I think it would be a good idea to add him now. Otherwise, I keep stacking everybody up. That's all I really want for now. We'll put... Year. This one's 2012. I don't know when this actually came out specifically. It says 1212, so we'll do that. 2012. And that way I can also log any issues that we're having with the eduke versions, so that's kind of why you'll notice like, I'll write whatever eduke version we're using for this. Um, and I've been trying to go back and test them as well when I'm redoing this for screenshots. 
done. I can just copy paste because you know. Let me put this there. Put that there, and then where? But this has it, so I can also. This helps me find maps too later on. I want to do it like that. I wanna... This is the exciting stuff that everybody wants to see on stream. I'm telling you guys, you're really just helping me with accountability. Yeah, I just, how about I just copy that one? There's a link like this. Oh, boom. boom. That's how I did it. Okay. Google Sheets is a little weird for me, but I kind of like how you can put pictures on it. Like these little emoticons makes things a little little fun. I have a I have a plan for this as well for something else. Don't pull this little website. I don't know if it probably still doesn't work. globe but if anybody does know shortcuts for anything I'm doing feel free to tell me because that would save my life probably waste so much time just uh, wasting time uh, delete cells and shift oh, that's what I want okay dog bill oops I put this in the wrong section Oh, that's pretty straightforward. It's actually just what it's called. Not adhering to the rules. Classic. Mapping names. Uh, I don't know how many secrets it has yet. Uh, it's single player? Yes. My experience with spreadsheets are <laughs> unlimited to super calc, I'm afraid, so I can't help. Yeah. I know how to do everything I, that I feel like I need to do, but it definitely take, took me a while to get to this stage. But there is some stuff I really do like Google Sheets does compared to Excel, I will point out. Like, I can edit certain just rows without modifying, well, like, cells, delete them, shifting up, like that stuff. I don't think I can do that in Excel. Um, part of the reason I did this is because I use a lot of spreadsheets for my job, too. It just kind of helps me out for it. <laughs> figure new things out for work. Uh, new art, new music, so it's none of those. Uh, no difficulty settings, right? Is that what he said? Difficulty settings not available. Uh, eating version. Right now we're going to be running the new... Well, not new. We're doing R1045. Dogville time, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do Dogville. I don't know how many secrets it has, though. I'm just playing that. Uh, no co-op, no deathmatch. Figure out what those secrets are in a minute. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go back to the VB. Um, For you guys. Big city map. So I do know this is uh, obviously an extended version. So there was an original version came out in like 2004, I think. Um, I, I do have that version, but I've been told pretty much just don't bother with it because this is that version and then some. It's kind of like the Red series, how the Red One is pretty much remade. I still think Red One, the original one, is interesting because 
so much of it's different. But I don't think, like, even though there's definitely the same bones, everything got a facelift, at least a little bit. Um, but yeah, this was a, a remade map. Play in 8-bit mode, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play in classic, uh, but I don't know if that's going to break because of the new version, so we're going to find out. But if so, I do have the old version on standby that should hopefully run this without any issues, like uh, graphical ones. Uh, but considering I don't know what it looks like, if anybody does know any problems with their playthrough experience, definitely do that. Didn't have my internet plugged in. Full internet speeds. Well, I just know that there's like um, one of the classic maps we did play. Unless you mean because this is popular, they made sure it worked. Um, just remember that one map we couldn't duck because of some changes they made. But we'll do classic, because that's what he wanted. Uh, let me make sure my sound stuff is still set up, though. I did have some stuff turned off. Sorry, so much stuff changes between Edict versions, and I've been flipping, flopping back and forth in my personal time that... I don't remember where I'm going. Oh, uh, video early on. A 1080. Okay, so here we go. Maybe. I'll go to it. So I only I only saw this uh, first section here. So we have five secrets. Back to my little list here. Five secrets. Oh, already got it right there. Screenshots. We got a little 2012, but it was based on something that only used traditional techniques. So I wonder if that is here. Let's see. They're on little sprite boxes. I like these little sprite boxes, always fun. I have the land here. That's a lot of that's a, Come on. a lot of overlords right there. There's a med kit there. I wonder if that's like a secret. Maybe. There's this little ledge here. I wonder if it's like if I jump in there. That's a that's a big cobweb. Well, it, like I will say, like. I think of these guys with pistols. Okay, 
And then this is as, as far as I got when I booted up to take the thumbnail screenshot. There's my full disclosure. I did see her, so I didn't know she was up there, but I didn't... I don't think I can reach her. Looks like there's a little invisible... Uh, wall right here. She might just be for decoration. I'll break these guys up. I gotta turn messages on for you guys. Guessing it's only by feeling halfway through. It would be interesting to hear you speculate about how you feel the original version slash base level probably ended. Ooh. Do, do, do they end at different spots? I guess you don't have to tell me. But I wonder what I'll see. It's an interesting idea to think about. Like, uh... I wonder if I could tell what's new and old for sure at all. Considering I have no good concept of the original. So I feel like I could probably jump on these trees to get up here. And I wonder if that's the intended way. Because they, they look structured in such a fashion to do so. Right? That's got to be... Uh, Where's the screenshot? That plot? Yeah. That's got to be a very intentional... Wait. Oh, yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't know, one of the things we also do on this channel while we're playing these levels to look at it from uh, an editing perspective because we are obviously trying to learn how to make maps of our own so we are trying to figure out how they built certain things as well um, so yeah there's a lot of stopping talking at things but yeah conceptually that's what I think this this looks intentional right because that's a very weirdly skewed unless he wants me to break that one and not these ones so that I could jump on the a little too high but it does feel like I should go in there so if I could blow that one up I could get just the height to maybe land on this if not then definitely he doesn't want me to do that and I would just make these guys taller this just feels like such an alluring thing that I want to go up here okay, I could do that do that So we are playing on classic mode, so you get some slight distortion effects when you're looking up and down, just like the old ways, if you're not, uh... Yeah, the idea of the original version ended abruptly somewhere. The very... I feel like this looks old. But then again, everybody has their own kind of style and technique, and I don't know if I know... I like that. That's a nice little... It's simple, because it's just a masked, like, gliding thing. That I've seen a hundred times, but I, do, I just do like that as a curtain. Uh, well, anyways, we do got the shrinker, so they, it's game over now. There's there's nothing the world can give us. Um... no challenge now. I didn't want to fall off there, but that, that's what happened. So, we're, we're rolling with it. Thankfully, we got some health here. First half of the map is old school, second half is new. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely gives me fi uh, the vibes of um, um, the... The winter map we played. Uh, by, I think it was the guy that did. Uh, it, what was he? What's his name? Um, what's that winter map? It's like it's gonna bother me. Just another Christmas? Maybe that's what it is. Like, is that the one I'm thinking about? What was his name? Uh, same author, if yes. Oh, is that this guy? I 
did we play that? Just another Christmas. There it is. It was episode... Uh, episode 2. No, no, I'm thinking about... No, you're right. I'm thinking about just another Christmas. That's the exact one I'm thinking about. I have these completely wrongly labeled, though. I should not look at that. Oh my god, that was terrible. I was looking at... No, I was thinking about just another, another Christmas. Is this the same guy? Very much, then. I could, uh... Why, are you... Why do he make you red? I want to know. Okay, so we got some chain gun in there. I wonder if we can... And this is an interesting use of that glass that I, is, I think it's for the car that I was associated with. I always thought it was a little too low res, maybe, even for Duke, that it just kind of felt a little jarring. We're going to get it. Uh, I think maybe there'd be a button we could shoot. I don't think the bear is something that would be interactable. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it definitely has that style, very reminiscent. I like these doors that you can see through. Really like that, that effect. Wow, oh, we're getting some high-powered weapons on really early. I, I I know the shrinker was in that secret. That was a that big early secret. I find. Did you, was this around the time people knew how easy it is to exploit the uh, shrinker? So now I'm just thinking about all these things I can hop on. Right? Like, because I can hop on here. But he is doing invisible uh, walls. Like, we did have invisible walls right here to get to this babe. So they know how to mask them. Unless they just forgot there. So I feel like they are intentionally letting me jump on places. So if I can, I can do something with it. Maybe not here. Maybe not here. Hmm. I'm also tempted to never do that because I'm always worried I'm going to break the map, but I also know if I don't try, that's going to be where they're going to put a secret. The whole room with the broken car windows and red carpet was one Tyvo had to retexture real quick last minute. Like, I, I, I just... I actually think that's a cool idea for the using that. So I'm actually kind of impressed how well it works, considering I don't like that extra in general. Maybe it's because uh, I feel like we shouldn't have done it for every single one. Because every single one was was broken. Man, I kind of make me want to go look at it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll look at it in Mapster or something. Um, I could probably hop on... Like this. I do like how the sign. I know it's just uh, binding two together, but so there's a visible wall there. That's not blockable, so it's not letting me jump on the parking one. Uh, it's interactable. I haven't tried opening doors. I feel like I should do that. I did notice in the screenshots that cars look very Roche-like. for the preparation of canine hamburger. Mm. We got that. Is, that. is that something I can blow up? Here. Uh, did you consider blowing it up? No, I didn't. Do you want me to try? I'll, I'll consider it. I'll try to do it. You're right, I, I should try being experimental here. It didn't care that it was being blown up. An eye for combos that shouldn't work, but do sometimes. Yeah. And I do kind of like that careless... I don't want to say carelessness, because obviously he knew it was there, but sometimes where you mentioned, and we've seen, where he doesn't he doesn't give a shit when the palette swaps just change Duke's color, and because he, he's using it for aesthetics, where he's like, no, I want this area to be blue. 
right? It's it's very uh, like art house kind of. Um, Where is it? The classic like horror ones. I like bathe things in like red and blue light just because it looks cool. We got a little club here. I don't know, like very 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 classic texturing going on right now. But at the same time, there is some breakup. I know, weird use of uh, yellow and squishing. I wonder if it's because some of this stuff is older techniques. Like, it's so much easier to look at things nowadays and be like, yeah, I can add a bunch more sector walls. Oh, I, I, I saw you guys. I saw you guys and I, I just... ignored that this was going to be half. something I had to deal with. I'm not sure I... They all lived. I just want to point that out. Um, Dario Argento? Is that how you say it? That's the one I think I'm thinking of. I wonder what the, why why this? Why are you why'd you stack that? I guess I just don't understand what that's representing. Other than a cone, which I just don't know why you need multiple. We got over here. I get I can get up here, I bet, from this. Maybe not. Probably from the car I can do that. Grab that. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if this is breaking it, so... Nope, it's not. But I can do it. I like this. I like being able to see from a secret into a later area. It also gives you... I, I like when a secret... Or, uh, I don't know if this is really much of a reward other than... Not counting the one in the secret, but... I do like the reward of... A secret area giving you the ability to, to see into another area you're going to be in later on so not only do you get the reward of whatever items that you're getting inside if there's an easter egg maybe the easter egg but if you get to look at something or a place you haven't been to kind of get some insight a strategic advantage again uh it kind of <laughs> it's my version of uh doing those 007 moves in um like Nightfire, if anybody ever played Nightfire. I think a few of the other ones had it too. It's like, hey, you, you snuck into this uh, castle instead of blowing through all the guards? Well, that's a 007 thing to do, so extra points. Cool if uh, the SOS system in Duke Nukem uh, Forever had something like that. Uh, fun, fun fact, it... or. I don't know if it was going to have it. So when I was reading through some of the design documentation and some email, old emails I have uh, from the designer of Duke Nukem Endangered Species, all things, they were talking about the implementation of SOS, the, what is it, Shades Operating System from Duke Nukem Forever. This was around the 2001 era still, or at least going up into that era. Um, and they were giving ideas to the endangered species guys of how they would want SOS implemented in that game so that it could connect to Duke Nukem Forever from an aesthetic purpose. And one of the, the things they were thinking of was how doing like little side missions would do something for your SOS, like you would be rewarded from Duke, which which it does have. It has the ego boost stuff um, in Duke Nukem Forever, but that was something they were talking about for Endangered Species which would have led to you having little side missions in endangered species as well because of that to get ego boosts and upgrades. Random trivia for a game that never came out. I'm pretty sure that's public knowledge now, isn't it? Didn't that game leak? I don't know if those documents leaked. I'm pretty sure they would have. If not, you didn't hear from me. Okay, we got a yellow low, yellow key. Oh, we got this, we got this. I go in here. Oh, and if, if anyone's... Uh, I know there's key carvers here this whole time, by the way. Um, three cones, because Duke 3D takes three dot cons. Oh, it's a little reference. Have you had a chance to talk to any other developers, Duke Nukem Forever stuff? 
Um, not like lately. Uh, pretty much any conversations I ever really had with developers was back in the 3D Realms forum days, like when that stuff was around. And I was just working on the, at the time it was the official 3D Realms wiki. And then that got abandoned. And then I rebelled and did the Duke Nukem wiki. I was like my version of rebellion as a child. And so when I was doing that, that's when I talked to the endangered species because I liked that poster so much as a kid. And I was a huge fan of carnivores. Or was it, or was it called carnosaurs? There was carnosaurs the movie. And carnivores is the game. Not that they're related, but there's dinosaur movies. Dinosaur stuff. Um, that would be a good reference if it was, though. Um, so, yeah, when I was doing that, I talked to the endangered species people when I was trying to get that and something else. And that's how I got endangered species and a bunch of stuff for that. And I'm pretty sure there was there. The problem is the one I got for endangered species that I know there was a later build I don't have. Uh, so I don't. Which is a shame because some of the side mission stuff was technically in the game, I think. I just don't have it. Uh, yellow was this one. I think. But other than that, uh, it was just like talking to some people like Joe. I talked to Joe, but that's because I was working on the wiki stuff, and then he... I guess I shouldn't say he did. Um, but then somebody uh, gave me stuff for the Duke Nukem Forever side-scroller, so that's where a lot of those screenshots came from. But now most of the people that are involved in the computer feel like have stuff like that, mainly because they ended up going working for Void Point. I was like seeing uh, beta stuff that way. So oh, I didn't really get very, very far into talking to people about Duke Nukem Forever because it, Duke Nukem Forever wasn't even out yet when I was doing that kind of stuff. So I was more interested in, uh, I talked to the Duke Nukem Advance, a couple of Duke Nukem Advance people from, what's that company called? Or it was Taurus. Interesting. Uh, I reached out to Joe about DNF, but he was tight-lipped, afraid of being sued. Makes sense. Plus, like, don't want to have bad relations. So I'm pretty sure he had good relations still, even afterwards. He still writes uh, and updates uh, the history of 3D Realms, I think, this day, which, like, kudos to him. Um, so that probably unlocks the Humane Society. Um, and plus, I don't know what, I guess Joe would know a bunch, too. Reaching out to people is really delicate, I feel. And it's just, it's nowadays I think it's also harder because what would people remember? That was the issue I was dealing with with endangered species is trying to find things or when we were doing deadly kiss stuff uh, for Shadow Warriors, like so many people just even back then just didn't remember. I think any of this is uh, cracked in the wall where it's like, hey, blow me up. Is that cracked? I can't. It's like just the right height where I can't quite tell. I don't think it is. Uh, do you open? Oh. So I can't dive down here. I feel like I could probably blow that. Like That, that feels like something I could maybe go. Seeing if there's any details that we might be missing here. So far, this seems pretty straightforward, so it's not like I'm thinking that there's some deep, deep, deep hidden thing I'm missing here. Like a super secret, I don't think that was... Interesting decorating. Ah, that's a nice little spawn in. Okay, that's cool. Interesting choice like that with that.
think we do have the shrinker. We can just shrink him. Can be cheap, you know. I don't actually, but we don't have a way of getting up there to shrink. Oh, I thought that was going to unlock for sure. What did that do then? What was that for? Can I just pass the dogs now? Are they going to be gone? Or have complete 2006 or complete Duke Naked Endangered Species? Was the 2006 one the one where they switched to the Doom engine? Like the Doom mission where they, everything started going more horror? Because I'm going to be honest, if that's the case, I think I might have wanted Endangered Species. Like, I know why they cancelled Endangered Species. They said it was, uh, they didn't like... I forget what George said the reason was. Um, they just, the milestones weren't good enough or something. But I'm, I'm like, could have kept it going. Um, but I, I think Endangered Species would have actually i should say the potential of it because what it was when it at the stage it was canceled wasn't yet but at least through the design documents and what they were trying to get around to um it seemed like it would have been a slightly more interesting version of what their next game was which was like what they took from endangered species made which was um oh god i forget what it was Vivisector, Vivisector, Beast Within. Um, mainly because of the side mission part, and you could, uh, like, I think you could cure the werewolf instead of killing the werewolf, like all these mythical cryptids you could go hunt down. Um, several of those dog switches around the first block. Okay, should be uh, several yellow keypads. Scott said endangered species didn't uh, suit the tone of Duke. I would, I, I get why, like he said it was because he doesn't picture Duke hunting these things, but uh, the game itself had very little to do with hunting, to be honest. There, So the, well, I shouldn't say that. So it had the hunting mechanic that carnivores had. Uh, yeah, carnivores had. Um, uh, okay, okay. Uh, it had the same hunting where it's like okay you have to shoot them in the weak spots you can hunt that but like slowly into a couple missions it starts to become an actual duke nukem game to a certain degree in a hunting format so like you eventually have to go attack a, like a human base that's being under attack from aliens the aliens are invading so there's regular aliens that you could kill and hunt as well and it becomes that you're like hunting these cryptid type creatures because there's something to do with aliens like there's a bigger conspiracy so it's not just dukes going out there safari hunting um necessarily so i i don't think it that was the full reason maybe that's why what he says and i'm not going to disagree with him per se because he, he did run the company but the developers and the emails and stuff imply it just they weren't happy with how the speed of progress, but maybe that's the excuse they, they just gave. I like this. This is a nice little computer, even though it's uh, like it's a way to make it kind of look futuristic for I guess 2012 or maybe not as futuristic. But anyways, I just like it. Um, but yeah, I think a dangerous species would have been interesting. I don't know if uh, the idea of the darker Duke Nukem Forever when they switched that Doom 3-ish engine. Well, I shouldn't say more Doom 3-ish um, style was as appealing to me. And I think even what we got was probably something I liked better. I would have preferred 2001's version. I think the general consensus for 2001 was peak Duke Nukem Forever. And I agree. That really did feel, or at least what they were cheating with the trailers, feel like where Duke Nukem would go. I like this little detail. Uh, do you think there's anything else out there? Builds? Oh, uh, well, no, 100% there's more builds out there. It's just whether or not you're going to ever be able to get them. 
out into the uh I don't know why I did that. Uh out in the public. I like how even futuristic uh PCs and early Duke users had to have towers. I like that too. Again, I, I think the perfect aesthetic for Duke is uh, you still do retro, but you also do a little future. I, Robocop is my, where like the dark board of Duke Nukem in terms of aesthetics as well, um, where I feel like tonally it's it's the same kind of style. Or like very retro, but also somewhat futuristic. Did I hit the actual dog? No, I, I don't know if I did. Come get some. It's wild that the classic drops my frames so much on newer Eduke, and I don't know why that is. Uh, sometimes a mapper in the 90s came up with crazy tech contraptions, and then boom, on the, on the side, tower. But even today, man, like, hey, power for... We're gonna get that tower in that power. Is this yellow as well? No, that was blue. Ah, uh, this is yellow. Well, so many people, like even me, right now I'm using a laptop. I think so many people have just migrated to laptops. Like, you still have that dedicated base that uses it for, like, maybe high-end gaming or for work that requires high-end PCs. Uh, but in general, I feel most people can't shoot through this. I like that look, though. That's all sprites. Maybe that's what the person thought. They probably saw this and were like, that's a Troar layer in that review, I thought. I, I've just opened up Duke Nuke 20 and the first refiles. Is that of use to anyone? Uh, lighting stuff? Um, that's just a personal choice. It's something to be upgraded. This ant has it too, this e -Duke version. It's uh, what the polymer renderer looks like, to a degree. One that's not either a desktop or a tower, barring the clients and machines. Yeah, well, like my work one is one of those mini PCs, so it's just like a little box that looks like a TV dinner. Because it's all remote connections for the most part. The, the lighting effects in Duke Nukem World Tour or the Polymer Render, I'm actually not against. I just feel like you need to build your maps intentionally around it to make it look right. Otherwise, it just looks... I didn't... I almost added dogs to my thumbnail, but I was like, you know what? What are the chances I add dogs? They're like, you silly. It has nothing to do with actual dogs. But there's a shit ton of dogs in this. I wonder if the end would be the dogs. It's also so easy because they have the the texture. You know what? Just because you said that, I'm gonna I'm gonna build an Alienware PC because they look so weird in a map. That's the future. I like this. Getting some fun with sprite work. You're right, now that, like, the, the Taibo definitely has a style. Because there's some stuff where I feel like he doesn't care about scale at all. But it, it's it's slapping things in there to fit whatever mood he's going for. But it's also still interesting design choices. Like, like look at this. He's using the, the circle texture, it, I think, to make these little little bars across. What a weird choice. What a weird choice, but it works. Like, why didn't he just use this? And But he obviously wanted to make, make it look different. Well, I guess because he wants to be maybe padded. Called Dogville that this map had absolutely nothing to do with. I did look up, po when I was looking up stuff, and I saw that movie, and I was like, because of the year, I knew it had nothing to do with this. I'm like, man, if only it did, because... I could just take a poster and uh, try to turn that into like a thumbnail or some duke in there. Or is there something else in uh, here?
Maybe we'll drop a frames there. I like this whole room. This greenery, I like the idea of it. Frames stretching. One of the teleport. No, that could work too. It's still a weird choice. I'm very disappointed with you, Mr. Battle Lord. Oh, you're up there? Okay, well, I can. Guess what? I know how to get up there. I did that earlier today. Oh. Oh, no. Well, I guess I'm lucky, because I was hitting the invisible wall, but you right into my foot's path. I wonder if he's the same way then, and I can't actually get up there to squish him. That's a good way to counter this if you knew about it, so let's kill that man. Not man, alien. Try to take over the world, YouTube. Owning real violence. That's what I would want to use. I'd still use this. Oh, I want to redo. Pretend that happened the first time, okay? Yeah, like, because some stuff, it's like, I feel like he stretches this texture, for example, way too far. Like, I would never do this. But he does it so often, you're just like, okay, I, I accept it. I accept it in the collage of his maps. That, that it's okay. Like, even this. I feel like that shrunk. That also doesn't make sense. You got stuff popping out of here, but there's a door here. I'm hoping, probably thinking, pretend you can't open that. It just says thank you. But to me, it must look too big. this room. A oh, bloody handprint. Is that a secret? Mm, mm. That is. Did he change the palette here too? Like, why is this? Like, he's got a little bit of blue here. I can tell so many experiments were so spontaneous, but worked to a degree. So stuck. Take it. I'll, like, I'll take it. Mm. Nice little detail there. I like that. Actually putting the rack around it. Because this is Duke Nukem, we should do this. This is like one of those things where I wonder the behind the scenes lore of it, where did they intentionally want to make this or did they do something where like a sprite moved in a way where they're like, hey, if that was a ball, it kind of looks like a ball move, rolling around. Let's do a pin like a, like a what they call this? pool table, pool table. <laughs> I was playing uh, some some pinball. Do I have uh out of the hard way? I like these uh the blue on there. Is that me? Did I do that? Every door here. 
Oh, I take my sweet time in levels, by the way, if you're new here. I'm gonna take it all in. Colored lighting. Always really fit in here. was a last minute change and that place used to be a concert hall really why surprised we haven't run into those broken glass textures or one pixel all cardboard wall we did run into the broken I, are you talking about the same ones I i'm talking about are you talking about these ones one in roche i forgot there was one in uh roche too playthrough of Phantom Fury? Uh, no, I have not. I haven't finished um, Ion Fury myself or its expansion, so I'm kind of avoiding Phantom Fury. Plus, I've heard some mixed things about uh, how Phantom Fury is going in. But because I'm so behind on everything else... Are you talking about this texture? Is that, trust me, I noticed it. Oh, I noticed it. Um... Yeah, I'm just I'm just so behind in in shooters. Like, let's put it this way: I finally beat Blood last year. So if you're if you're aware of classic boomer shooters like this and uh, all that, then that tells you how behind I was. Can't tell if I'm supposed to be able to do that. I was kind of hoping, actually, when I when they said they were going to do a sequel to uh, Ion Maid, uh, Fury, sorry, that it was just going to be another 2.5D game. For my obviously biased reasons, was there anything else in here that I feel like I'm missing? I will say, for a last visit edition, this pool hall is pretty nice. Like as a pool hall. Is that him? Holy cow. Three, three, four, five, six. Oh, that one now I missed, but it's okay. It, it... I don't know if the dogs can die, but I'm trying to make them live. They can, in regular dupe, they can, but I want to make them live here these guys to snipe them with rockets. Right? I know I am. Thank you. Not for your devs weren't even aware of the fan that was announced to the public. I did hear that. And uh, I completely understand why they would be upset, considering really that's something that they kind of made happen. Just kept that uh, concert hall purpose. Probably when he moved the, his maps outside of, of the grid. Is that me? Were we living in a Tron uh. world back then? I like this... Uh, out of bounds detailing. Pretty nice. We did we did see the uh this thing back here. Can I not jump on this one? What did we do here. Because for sure we saw items back here.
like even that it's kind of interesting you do a little layer like indent there but why because you end up using the same texture so it kind of looks the same a lot you, like i feel like i'm not getting enough difference especially if when he wants a classic because the skewed to really justify that extra little wall so why do it but then it's not wrong i'm just like you could have saved a little bit this map's doing immense damage to creativity in the mapping scene for only for him to then bitch when people made something similar i i never knew about that i will say that does sound a little little cold like but i don't know how old everybody was back then because man i was a very uh i don't want to say insecure per person but when i look back at some stuff that i would say or do back then especially when i was handling things around I mean, you're like, man, it's kind of cringy. It's the way you, you awk or handle situations. So I tend to give people a pass if I find out they were teenagers. <laughs> that no one could study them. Oh, is that what you meant? I didn't know you could do that. Like, I will say, I hate, I don't like the idea of flat out just copy and pasting someone's work, so I, I totally understand the anger out of that. But I also am a huge... Why are you doing that? That's, like, is that there on purpose? In case people couldn't jump on this, maybe? Or maybe, like, because I feel like this is why this... Why are you doing it? This why? <clears throat> it's just a weird little thing. Like maybe it's just to get up there easier. I just don't think I needed it. Most everyone in the community and should have known better. I guess if you are an adult, like, definitely I can understand the anger about, maybe I have to blow one of these up. That was a mistake. What? I was way back here. Oh. It, it feels kind of like, and this is from an outsider looking in, I wasn't around. Well, I was around, but I didn't pay attention to that mapping aspect of the community that much, other than random screenshots I might see. Um, so all the lore of, of what happened was fascinating to me. Um, was there anything even up here? Like, this feels so, so intentional. Maybe it's because he just uses invisible walls in such strange places, so to not use them here and build these weird little constructs. Um... Yeah, but, like, how else are you going to learn to build? It, it, it feels like somebody getting a rare game and never showing it to the public, like, never releasing it to the public, being like, no, 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 you don't get it. I have it. You're not allowed to have it. I have it. it like, I know the information. You can't know it. Uh, which is weird if, didn't he, like, end up being a teacher? I feel like you'd want to share that that information that knowledge with the Where world is it? So we got the blue key cards we also got an, another yellow key card did we not use the yellow key card somewhere was there an optional yellow door i didn't go in one in here What is that overlap? Why is that there? Where is it? Is... Oh, is that that? Oh, I thought that didn't go that deep. Maybe that's why. Is there another yellow door I didn't go through? I went through that. 
I thought he was an architect. Uh, came across as one. I definitely heard that. I don't know if he may like... I still feel like I should go back there, and I'm, I'm missing something by not figuring out how, but maybe we'll be able to go in here eventually. Uh, we went through sushi. This one still doesn't do anything. There's more tutorials around making it look good and enemy encounters that where I get lost. Uh, making it good, look good. And then slap some sprites and stuff and make things look good. But the enemy encounter still is something that I feel like I'm going to struggle with as well. Um, somebody did link to a tutorial, uh, not about necessarily Mapster in the forum, but it was about going over enemy encounters in games for other type media. I guess we'll just have to go through that blue door. I don't, I don't know where else this yellow key would be yet. This doesn't open, right? That doesn't open. Well, the door is over here. I feel like this square would be the original map. Like this area and everything now beyond this blue door would be new. But maybe not yet. This kind of looks very... I don't know if his style would change. I don't know what the newest map of his I played. What, like, I guess maybe Duke Hard. Still feel, felt very similar. Uh, to be honest, uh, the case only is this interesting because the original pre reversion Dogville really owed the line of acceptable practice to. Yeah, I wonder what was copied. Because even the version I have, I'm assuming he that version also changed and altered. So. Um, Still got two more secrets. Like, the cars for sure look very roach like. Oh, this is the room we saw? Okay. Instantly weird when you put a camera. guys but it's supposed to be I fully understand what that is I'm assuming a garbage can but oh <laughs> and this yeah like it's he did so weird so it, like he does very strange texture choices like, sometimes they're bold. Like, very bold where I'm like, okay, I totally get w why he went there. Like, even this, I still think this is maybe stretched too much, but I get why he did it. He wanted that wallpaper to look striped like that. So using stock assets. But it's 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 so weirdly interesting where he chose to put effort or not because I, I don't even say it's like lack of effort it's just very very whatever's in the, whatever he had in the kitchen sink is kind of what he used or like in this case in the fridge took it out made a meal out of it that's kind of what he feels feels like with his levels here only then it was deemed as different enough as well as real quick i think that's the thing that like i'm not upset necessarily like i don't blame Pascal's choice is obviously his choice of his own, but because I do think his maps are interesting visually, I kind of would have liked to see what happens if that person kept going and you fast forward to now with all these current limitations or expanded limitations that we have, what would have someone like that do? Just out of curiosity, what would it, what would it have been? Doing new texture work and do? 
I feel like there is. Accessibility just means it's always so much easier just to use what's stock. So we got comic health there. I feel like this would not have been here if this was the original. Zoom in. Oh, they're flying now. I feel like they have way lower health when they're flying. So there's already, already like a secret I know I'm missing if they're not going to let me go back there. So this feels like this would be the new map section if I were to imagine because this this seems like a completely like a part two we're entering into unless it just is going to abruptly end here. I want to go back for a second only because unless this loops back around and goes into the side area. Um, I was thinking that those door switches would unlock that, but I guess it's just for those, uh, blue key, but, like, back here, there is a door. It's later than that? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, we still have this blue key, too. I wonder if I do just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I do come back here. Okay, so we'll keep going. I think, like, I could jump on here. Weird, so I could jump on here. Why would I want to do that? Jump over there to get on there, but why would I do that? Jumping on here to get on here. Even if I get on here, you couldn't get up here. Alright, so we'll move on a little bit. You're telling me it's not the end. Especially when I, yeah, we still have that blue key card, unless it's a red herring for something, and it's, we're never going to get it. Get on there, though. I don't know if that opens. I don't think it would. I don't remember them having wires back in the other one. That's why I kind of think this was go. new, but... There's so many little trees that look jumpable, so I keep thinking, uh, that must be original version. I figured that's what you meant, but especially if this is still kind of the original version. So there's another blue key card. In there. Where is it? Hmm. Hmm. Got the yellow key card to go in there. It's key card oriented. Can I just open this? Where is it? Pipe bombs there. Up. Oh, is that an elevator maybe? Can I tried this door.
Red key card, okay. He's squishing stuff I would have never squished. Let's do one draw. I like this. This is actually a nice way of doing kind of like a chandelier kind of style light. I like that. That's nice. On the block is made of sprites because Taibo already was starting to run out of sectors, though. Still. I think it's pretty cool. Can't tell if this is broken. I can definitely see a red key card in there. I like this little section right here. How that's boarded off. I feel I don't know why you'd have it like that, but I just like that little little touch. Half in general. From this point on, with in the old map. Wait, is this thing we're already halfway there? Interesting choice having that bill there. See, it, and like, maybe it's because of limitations. But I would, because especially when we're talking about DOS limitations. Because nowadays I would make this into a more defined border or something, or logo. It's like under construction. I guess it could just be in disarray. I like that curved cola. I don't think that's a good place for it, though. I would have put it on, like, this wall instead. Because you would have been more likely to see it. I wonder how many maps uh, somebody probably designed with bigger intentions, and then when, because of those limitations, they decided to change it. Now, I think that can limitations can inspire creativity, so I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. But I wonder if those people did go back, how different maps would be, or would they be relatively the same? Maybe a little bit more detailed, or would it be dramatically different? really been using the shrinker as much. Or if it's just because play styles have changed so much that I, uh, I kind of save this for bigger enemies. Uh, I don't know if I want to... Well, where the red key card's going to be. Looking for buttons. waste of uh, bullets. You should probably just kick these if you're actually playing in real life, but more dramatic when you shoot them. Uh, what do we want to use for this guy? I feel like shrink rate for him is reasonable, right? I guess I could also just stand here and he might blow himself up if I'm lucky. Or blow me up. See so many maps working in series. Oh, like how their next map will be connected to the first one is just because of those limitations? I just assume everybody was replicating that, uh, that aesthetic of an episode. And since it takes so long for somebody to make a map sometimes, it's like, okay, well, yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's let my next map be connected thematically. Interesting. It's a fancy Duke Burger. Like, I like that. That's a nice idea, just having this little glass vase like that. I like the concept of this fancy dinner party. I would have 
again, knowing the older limitations at play here, the, the, the sound of the Battle Lord, no matter where it is, being right there. I do like how it's kind of a, a warning of sorts. Um, to let you know that there's one on the map. But I would have also liked if there was an option. Where is it? Red being five maps, rose being nine, yeah. Was whatever the ambition was too large to fill it was just one map at the time. Makes sense. A red Like very easy problem. I thought I thought that hit him. Pretty sure if we switch to polymost, this would fix this uh, issue, I think. Yeah, piece of cake. But he said classic, so we're doing classic. Uh, this is the Atomic Edition. This is Eduke 32, so it's the source port, and we're running um, a user map called Dogville Extended 2012 Edition, or 2012 Extended Edition. Uh, but we're using the classic renderer, so it does look like the old one, because this map suggested we use that classic style for certain techniques they used. Uh, only when hour plus long maps became possible, people realized they only liked them so much. Yeah, I, I think I think there's definitely... Uh, I like the ability to build big and like detailed and stuff too, but I also don't think every map needs to be like, gigantic. A little bit of both. Ruin my plan. kind of being pulled through this map. It's not like I really have an objective per se, right? Not that you need to it. I'm just, I am naturally being pulled. Uh, game version, yeah. I guess, yeah, I, I, I should assume that people might mean, I say atomic version, like, not world tour. That's like kind of the default choice now. For most people finding stuff like this. Don't know how much of this would be interactable. I've got two more secrets. A little worried I wasn't gonna fit in there, and then I'm like, oh no, this is why I was worried about using the newer Eduke. Sometimes I can't fit in vents. I think it's a good idea to build arts beyond accessibility for visual style. Duke doesn't do huge maps well. Yeah, I think it, part of that might be roster too, right? Like, uh, I, I think the roster can be used effectively, but I do understand. What a funny little choice there. But I'll, I'll take it. Oh, come on. Of course, it's when I go to take my hand off the button. Take a screenshot. I'll hide in the corner, though. Um, really 
pisses me off. It just depends. I think, uh, I really wish the Atomic Edition maybe added new enemies, or I, I wish they maybe made one more expansion that was official, like not just an expansion by a third party, that people would consider something else the... We'd have a few, just a few more options for enemies. Um, maybe that would help out a little bit for more modern, wide-open maps. But you know, I've I played some good big maps, too, that are quite fine. That I, I, I rather enjoyed. Yeah, I, I do. I am a fan of reducing the amount of invisible walls that you're hitting. Um, I do understand you, you you might have to use them at some point, but if you can always find at least a natural way of blocking the player off where even if you hit an invisible wall, it's understandable. Um, I think where you can run into a problem is even if you're using like this map as an example is, uh, and again, everything we're saying and critiquing here isn't saying that like any of this is wrong. It's, it's just kind of having a discussion about choices and why we make them and why we might make other ones. Uh, like so many of these trees being climbable makes me always think that oh I I should be able to find stuff if I'm climbing and, but then if all of a sudden I hit just like an invisible wall I get like I get a little confused because you're like you're telling me I can climb up all this stuff but then all of a sudden this one I can't climb up and you're discouraging it so then you're discouraging me from climbing in general because why would I want to just test every little thing when half the stuff is climbable, half of it is not, and then you're going to throw a few secrets on ones that I'm not going to check, just because I get tired of checking to hit an invisible wall. Um, so it should, if you're introducing a type of, of gameplay into your map where you're going to be hopping up stuff, I don't think I'd want to put barriers in place, uh, or I'd have to intentionally change the visual design of an area to discourage the idea of a player jumping on it, knowing they wouldn't be able to. Um, if I'm not going to let them do that in other places of the map. Right. Yeah, Half-Life 2 did a, a, a neat way of doing it where, hey, you go out too far in the water, you end up getting killed by fish, right? So they had a natural way of creating barriers. I like stuff like that. That's cool. Put a car accident at the end of the street to justify why you can't go past. Um... Even even if you have like just a, a line of police tape, right? Like that's a, a little low on the totem pole of justifications, but hey, at least you did something to justify why you can't go past there and maybe have some scenery in the background. Uh, build fort, is there a lot you can do with sector over sector and dynamic sectors? Uh, so let's go back. I also like sceneries. Like, I'm okay with, for example, like, let's say this was a fence. I'm okay with not, I can't get over it. It's very easily, like, there's nothing high enough where I can jump on it. That's, that would be my problem if there's like a, a tree or a shrub here where you clearly can jump on it. And I could jump on that lane and then jump over the fence. But if it's clear that I couldn't do that in any way without feeling like I'm wall hacking or speed running, uh, I'm okay with there being like a whole scene in the background, like boats moving across, something to add to the liveliness of the world. That you're not going to be able to get to to sell the setting. Uh, that stuff's fine. I like that. I also like making miniatures. Okay, so we can go down that sewer. Not going to yet. That's probably the obvious choice since they gave us those pipe bombs here. Well, we're getting closer to the sushi place, so that means we probably would loop back around. I like this. I do like the sign area. I don't know if I would have made that totally black. I guess. You're very limited what you can use because you have to use another circle and what other circles would you have maybe i would have made it like brown though i feel like that's the only way we can go what a weird little choice just to have this sticking out because especially when you think about it you walk out here you do all this there's a very limited chance you're going to turn and look back at that I'm just wondering if I jump on this.
Hoping they just don't notice me yet, okay? Oh. Um. I'm the chaos trooper. It is. It is, Jay. Um, connecting spaces and paths are one of the most deleted things in my levels. Really? Even is an acceptable barrier to me and Duke simply refusing to go beyond it. Yeah, like, if you can have a visual justification, that's why I said, like, please state justification. And don't get me wrong, like, for example, Tyvo's other maps, he uses a ton of it. Like, just another Christmas, there's a whole section of a street where you're supposed to go down a street. But then all of a sudden the street splits into another street, but that street you can't go down. So that it's, it's very abruptly closed off. Like it's an invisible wall. There's nothing doing telling you you can't go down there. You just hit an invisible wall. The other one, the other street, he kind of put like snow hills and cars. So it's like there's a reason mentally that you can do it. Get here. It just it just throws a confusing message in my mind sometimes when it's like some stuff is invisible wall, sometimes it's not, because it discourages that idea of exploration sometimes. Um, probably say some stop saying sometimes. Yeah, a little, oh, little side thing here. I guess we haven't tried to go in the water, like underwater. See, the coloring here is making those items a little hard to see. Anything else here? I don't think I can go here. Some of that's also personal. Like, sometimes I'll watch a movie and I'll get a movie completely. And then somebody else will watch it with me and completely miss the point, right? People will just react and behave differently, so it's not like it's an exact science. That's why it's all just conjecture. Take it from me, the guy who has never completed a level. I know what I'm saying. But thankfully, half the people in this chat have, so... We got an egg. We got an egg, guys. Single egg. Hot uh, troopers here. You know, he was conveying how many enemies were in this. He was like 150 enemies. And this was in the original version, by the way, I was reading it. Um, so far, I haven't felt like there's a lot of enemies, actually. Actually... This, it, maybe it's because I'm used to modern ones where there's like just throwing shit at you, but um, it's been rather tame. On the context too, police. Uh, major part of it is grabbing the player's focus somewhere else. Yeah. Unless it's to like distract you from a secret, I'm okay with somebody getting a little distracted. Hide a secret. Don't ask me why I was coming back down here. Just about something. I think where that the other two secrets might be. I don't. I don't think I missed them so far. They've been probably really straightforward. That was cool. That was a nice little attempt at a, a piece. Maybe he teleported in like a. A little late. I would have maybe had him teleport after the explosions. Second half starts now. It used to be right where you are here. You would come out of this and the new nuke button. Oh my.
like we already got this I feel like we are seeing a little bit more detail or maybe I'm just thinking that because you told me in here we can go in there because that's see-through like I like this this is cool Right, that backdrop there, that's really nice. I know I won't be able to go there, but hey. Makes the, uh, I like this little little crevasse here with this. The whole thing is very nice. Just the angles and slopes, nice combination to make a, a more dynamic area without it being flat. We're not squishing the key cards, so we are in a different world now. Um, can't get on here though. Still using. So we're we're discouraging jumping, right? Wow, he has he has a ton of stuff back there. I don't know how much of that we're gonna see elsewhere, but that's that's fascinating. So if we uh, we don't go anywhere over there, then we're gonna definitely no clip it. Stuff. Dog pound. Found. Like this little little walkway here. Can't go in it though. Can I go back here? Oh, I can. I like this lighting drawing your attention to this. Not not to get really anywhere with it though. Mm. Jump up there. Is there any reason why people don't use fog effects room over room? I don't see them much. Um, well, room over room t seems to be like true room over room is more of a modern day mapping thing. Like it was something that I feel was possible back that here, but it wasn't as prevalent. And it's it's mainly for probably performance reasons. Um, the fog effects, I, I that one I don't know. Uh, I do know some of the newer maps again use them as well. Is fog a new feature? Like it's true, I don't remember any new original maps having it, but I've also I just thought it was something that maybe the the engine itself did by default. If your map somehow got too big, so they had the feature built in, but the maps weren't big. What a weird little choice you're doing here with this. You're, he's layering it. Give it a. a an effect, but I'm not sure if that what the effect he was trying to go with was. Maybe like a 3D-ish? Maybe he just wanted to get some coloring? Conceptually, I like it, though. Yeah, this feels a lot, lot grander than the beginning section, so I can see this being newer.
Also, our moderns were render dependent until recently. There's an invisible wall here. Shame. I would have liked to have gone up there. <laughs> I can't go up there. We're just we're perusing around here. We're not we're not stuck by any means because there's a lot, a lot of places we can go. We could try to probably go up there. Some stuff we have to see out here, but we're really trying to explore the nooks and crannies. <clears throat> That were uh, built here. If there's anything we can miss, well, I guess the idea is we don't want to miss it. So, go back there. Let's go up. Uh, we're gonna go up here first. Before I go too far away. Come get some. Well, there's items in here, so we're for sure going to be able to go in here. But here? <clears throat> That's indented. Maybe the blue key card will lead to there. Unless I get up there. Looks like you can see out there, but it doesn't look like that's the thing I'm supposed to do. So we're gonna, I guess, move on. Probably jump up here, you know, the wall. What about this? Uh, let's first try the door. So we can go in the door. jump up these that moving uh there's some moving cars back there that's cool really slowing down the game in classic it's so weird the if i use the old uh eduke one classic runs great newer one doesn't run so nice maybe that there's a uh, some performance updates in the newest version. Still playing in classic uh, or e duke or just prefer classic um so i play e duke uh only pretty much just because so much stuff i i play that Where i need to it? run uh, in terms of the renderer option i base it on the map i'm playing so for example uh this one specifically mentions trying to use it doesn't say classic renderer but it says like 8-bit which classic to me so uh because of the techniques it used so I'm using the classic renderer for this map. Otherwise, I'll probably use Polymost, which is another renderer option for you to. And in some, like uh, Toilet Ducks maps or uh, High Trees and stuff, we'll use Polymer. Uh, but then for poly High Trees, I'll turn some lighting effects off. Where uh, for Toilet Duck, I'll actually turn lighting effects on for Polymer because there's a few maps where it's actually benefits, uh, where you have to use the shrink rays and lighting effects as it glows to kind of use as a flashlight to travel throughout the world um, so it's it's map specific is what i'll use uh, i definitely like that polymost fixes the up and down thing it doesn't bother me so much but there's some apps i feel just look better in classic because obviously they were intended to run in that and then there's some that if they're meant or built around polymost i think they'll work fine in that too we'll have two more secrets Correct with these light switches. I like this uh, this curve, by the way. so many ideas I want to have for climbing so we're going to come back here we're going to still kind of make sure we cover this area first before we move on too far 
This area is repopulated. But we'll deal with that later, so let's close this door. Okay, so this loops back around. Damn, I'm good. I mean, it only runs classic, but is all I, I really need. That's a, a, I wonder if that's a choice, that being black. It's so hard to tell with high if it's something just not loading. It's the first dog that died. It happened because of you. My uh, sizable chunk of development is done on a machine from 1998 with 1998 sheets because of test for it. So I play Cla Atomic using eDuke and in class. It's so fascinating how old uh, some those PCs are that they're And I'm using like a gaming laptop, so. If that did anything. Oh. I get some nice uh like this little water. Running water there. Okay, so I was thinking about climbing these. There's definitely something up there. I saw something up there. Oh, never mind. Something I saw up there was a invisible wall. Anything behind there? So far, the switches haven't been interactable here, but you know, you never know. Also, he's gonna throw one that is. I feel like I'm missing something in here, though. Why did I come in here? Like, I know this repopulated this area. Oh, this, this is why I can't even see that. Games around the 64 era. <laughs> Use Macs for work, so don't need a modern PC. I still play old, uh, new stuff. I like this light. Nice way of doing that. Okay, so let's go down this. Oh, man, I feel like I'm supposed to do this. Oh, that's just completely invisible. Okay, maybe I'm not. Like I should be able to. I can jump on the other one right here. I could. I wonder if I have enough room to do it. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing up here. Except for me. I'm up here. Stupid. What are your thoughts on maps with lots of key cards slash switch on hunting? I'm indifferent. I could like them, I could hate them, but I don't think they're wrong or right either way. It really just depends on the flow of the map. Blue key card it is. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much of a secret with anything that we might be missing here. I can go in there. So this one, this part of the map, to be honest, like, if you were to say the first part of the map was what 
bot. I, again, I don't know what was taken out, so maybe we'll take a look at that. Um, at least it, as best we can in the version I have for the original. But this actually feels more roach-like than the original part that you're saying. So if you're saying all this is new, I'm getting more roach inspirations from that, especially when we go into these rooms where they're more detailed than the, the last section, surprisingly. God, I, I died. That was my murder. I like the the blue here. Like I I know this is already a I think a darker blue. Is there, I talk. But the, this palette swap here with that lighter blue, actually, I really like that. take these screenshots in full screen for my little project I'm working on, but uh, at least I'll remember the area itself. Uh, mine's liquid cooled and had to be get heat away from the hard drives. It's a nightmare when that or domestic. I conceptually like the idea of liquid cool. Every once in a while, so like right now this this year, I, I keep thinking about buying a new PC uh, for a bunch of stuff that I like to do. I meant like I'd like to merge kind of my work computer and home computer. I still have to keep them separate, but I'd like to not have to constantly switch things out so I could just toggle a switch to switch between my work and uh, like desktop PC just for more stuff I'd like to do um, in general and maybe migrate my PC to my like primary mm. gaming purpose device again uh, but that means I have to gather up the funds and, and do it and I, I keep thinking about would I want to do something crazy like liquid cooled and like go all out and crazy um, or would I mm. even though I, I know I'd probably end up not using it very much for, for high end games and by the time you end up I'll end up playing a game that's high end at that point, my PC is probably going to be out of date. I built one PC in my life, and I was really happy with it. I still have it, actually. I just don't know if it works. I never ended up plugging it in when I moved to my apartment like seven years ago. And uh, it was great, but then it was also out of date within like two years. I was like, man, that was a very expensive thing. Found that there is someone spying on my, on my private sessions. Let's kick his ass. Who's saying this? Who, all of a sudden, you're introducing plot to me. I can definitely see through it. I wonder if that's all I'm supposed to be able to do. Or am I going to be able to go over there? Maybe it opened up. Oh, I see him over there. Uh, 
um, I don't know if that's a secret yet, so we're, we're going to remember that. Worried that these dogs dying are going to be important. Like, they trigger something kind of like how when babes die. Joining us, Bedroom? Good to have you. Uh... I keep forgetting I had like, no health. Probably fix that. Which I can. I'm just going to the bathroom here. Getting at least a little bit. Uh, that's how I feel about my PC. I'm so, so impressed with the durability of this product quality. It took a downfall just the generation after. There was some, like, especially when I built my PC, that's around the time the, uh, like, NVIDIA was doing their physics stuff, like, the special physics card. Um, I remember they showed off, like, Batman, I think it was Arkham City, with, like, Mr. Freeze, when he freezes stuff, all the ice was collapsing and physicsing around him. Very impressive stuff at the time. Now I just don't know where to, what to do. And plus, games now, I feel... Well, they weren't back then all the time either, so I don't want to say it's like a back in my day, because that's a very cliche response, because you just look at the good stuff and forget the old, uh, the bad, usually, but uh, very lazily ported. Now it seems like you kind of need a beefy PC just to counter the effects of bad optimization, which, like, would be okay if the updates would eventually optimize the game. But it, it feels like they don't, and they just, you need to throw as much power in it to compensate for um, lack of optimism. It's at some point meaning it's unsupported. These are not helping my attempt to not Dogs. I like all these boots. What is this supposed to be? Like, I, I thought it was to, like, wipe your shoes, but also why? <laughs> and it's only half of it, so I'm very confused at what that's supposed to be. Ah, there's your peephole. It weird that this was not covering that. Oh, it's because the back of this is is the wall, so it doesn't doesn't have a back texture. Mm, 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 mm. 
Okay, so obviously we're going up here. I like this room. Weird that... I understand maybe why it didn't, but having that as the same texture is kind of odd. But oh well. We made that cutting board. I don't like this. <clears throat> Weird, but okay. I did see that, so I know where that we are. Well, and there it is there. Oh, it's just, it's just like a carpet. Okay, but it's, again, half of it's carpeted. The wildly excessive use of uh, sprites. How did I come in here? Oh, did I get a yellow key card from here? Okay. The yellow key card's over there. Oh, is there anything over there? I like that girl dancing in the background. There's a piece of backdrop scenery. It's yellow. You didn't even need to add those little leg pairs. I don't, I feel like that was unnecessary. Okay. right though it's interesting you'll see yeah i'm 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 definitely okay with unreachable scenery like this is i'm betting we're not going to go up here uh but it definitely does have a lot of backdrop vistas most maps usually try to minimize the amount of unreachable scenery yeah yours has the hard cutoff granted you also have the advantage of like you're doing very n64 style levels at least the ones i played so uh mm -hmm. It's totally more visually acceptable. Or sometimes it's just jarring when you're trying to kind of create something like this where you're like, I'm trying to mimic real world, but I still have to be gamey-ish. Um, use of a briefcase there using that. That's Very monster closety. <laughs> like the stair, like the alternating colors, real nice. Is 
do like this little uh, room over room style with just the sprites. I think it's going to open. That one doesn't open right now. Where is it? No? I like how it's like a kind of like a firing squad. Look at that crack in the wall. I don't know. Okay, so that is somewhere we're gonna go. Yeah, like this stuff is nice when you can't go at windows, but you can still see out of them. Like I like that little stuff. But fine. Where is it? It's better than having just a, a flat wall, unless you're gonna make the wall itself interesting. Where I like haven't found any of the other secrets, but I feel like I've I've been in an area where they might miss. Oh well, there's the one in the beginning area I should say that I know I couldn't get to. So maybe I keep thinking we're gonna loop back there, and we're going in the opposite direction because it's over way over here, the north side. Maybe we won't. Maybe I just missed it. I don't know how we would have got back there yet. Let's see. Uh, I could jump on these things. I can go in here. I won't go through there yet. I want to grab this. Go down there. Now we'll go down through. eventually going to open, I imagine. Up here. Up, up there. Could potentially jump up Pipe bombs, probably for that. Probably poisonous, but we'll see what happens anyways. Yeah. Visible wall, yep. Yeah. I needed that. Even though you get pipe bombs there, they give you one there. Very classic Duke.
Oh. Now we got that. I needed that. Is there any health up here I missed? Here, but I, I don't I don't think there's a but anything down there would be kind of cheap. Switch to this. Oh, I did. Come get some. I mean, that's where they dispose the dogs. I like the idea of this. I think this should have been the opposite way. But I know you can't vertically tilt things. I just that's one of the things I wish you could do is is rotate 90 degrees a sprite like on its side. Um that would add so much more possibilities. Ah, so this is back here. shooting me and why more importantly how okay so I had to blow that up oh this is the the, the spoopy room that we saw Going down there is a mistake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I can't. Visible wall. Gibbs. I'm gonna get medieval on your asses. Well, guys, I am. I'm. I, I, oh, wait, this might still loop around. I was like, I'm at a loss where these secrets might be. But I think if this does loop around, then I'm back to knowing where they might be.
I was missing. Like I missed anything in any of these areas. I went everywhere I felt like I needed to be. I know where one secret probably is, unless this doesn't connect to uh, the other area. But it, we're going kind of back in the direction. I no, we're not. That was, that was mean. thinking if there's something I was missing by looking at the map. Don't, um... See... I this is a completely new area. I will... I am impressed at how much this keeps going. Like, I know it's it, it's a remake that's extended, and the first section was pretty big, so knowing it's, like, double the length, I, I it does make sense. But even this already felt like it was going to be enough, so that red door felt like it was near the end. It kind of looks like there's even more still. Like that. That's, that's the lighting. Where is it? This is weird. Why is that there? Where is it? Odd choice, but okay. Like, why have this that like that? Maybe I should save after I take these guys out because I keep forgetting I I didn't I didn't do that. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool looking design though. Here, or is this? Jump on like that brokenness. Here, I'd go up here, right? Uh, I'm not supposed to be up here. I could do this. Jump. Now that I'm up here, I'm up here now. You can't stop me. Oh, stop me. See, that not being there makes me think I could potentially jump up there. But then there's an invisible wall right there. Foot dryer? Is that a thing? Like, that actually kind of sounds like a brilliant invention if that's that's a thing. I wish I had somebody who lives in a 
place where your feet often can get wet. That's why I have waterproof shoes. These dogs are stopping me from doing doing my life. I really like this area. This is nice. These used to be the most problematic enemies for me, or like a, one of them. I wasn't very good at that button. I actually don't even know if I knew about it when I was a kid. I don't know when I figured that one out. Some really nice uh, line work here. I feel like this is the end of the level if I go in there. Maybe not. I'm missing something. I'm not going back to that starting area, and that's where I saw a secret, but there's an invisible wall, so I'm wondering how I get past that invisible wall. This is a neat effect, though. I like that they're just randomly throwing this in, really diversifying this map. We'll do, we'll do uh, third person, please. Take it right I would have liked to have the sprite for Duke shooting would have uh, had like some kickback to his gun. Probably have to split the sprite into have like a top and bottom layer to do that. Uh, what is that? F7? Yeah, there's a lot more detailing in this section, in uh, in a way, like a lot less texture stretching weirdness that the earlier Tyvo stuff that I'm used to from the brief glimpses. Uh, so, so this definitely does feel different than the um, prior section now, but it did feel a little gradual. I feel. Uh, a blue see we got even more key cards. We got a blue one here, a red one there. I don't know if going in that sends me back. That would be interesting. We can't go on there. Such a weird choice, but okay. Feels like this is the natural way we're gonna go. 
Was this the... Oh, this is the beginning area. So this is the... Oh, we're probably going to do a final battle in the original area. Maybe that's what's going to happen. We're going to link back there. Okay, okay. Watch me be completely wrong in my assumption. Here. Oh, I remember this area. Oh, wow. All back. happened what a choice I wasn't sure if I was they wanted me to like climb that like what was the what was the intention here That is a choice, that sound effect that they you Oh, we're back here, okay. Surprised this didn't loop back in though. Like this open up. This open up. They're like, no, you gotta go back. screenshot it's like run it in a different engine uh is this always there where's the other two secrets then huh maybe they'd be in here like one in the blue room and one in the red room I almost ran right into that. Imagine that lowered that bridge. Uh, or not bridge, sorry, door. 
think them? Dad. I saved. Now we'll save, for sure, this time. And, uh, we'll be good. So, yeah, this is gonna lower this. I wanted to shrink these. We had so much shrinker ammo. We're not gonna use it, why not? remembering something from the beginning in the last section that I feel like I missed. But I don't think this goes back, right? Go back? Wonder. See, this definitely feels like a final battle. Yeah, you still have to hit the force field. Yeah. Bumps, high bumps, yep. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh shotgun. It's safe here. I feel like I I have a, a good footing.
Yeah, it did a nice job looping back to the original, and I guess he must have that. I'm assuming this didn't explode in the original either, so adding this back to there too was nice. Um, but it begs the question then, where, where the hell is that secret? Because I thought that was for sure going to be possibly one. This isn't letting us get up here, is Oh, it is. Now we can get up here. Does that mean we can get across there? Now there's an invisible wall here. Saw it right before I stepped on it. Where? Like, I'm, I'm really surprised this wasn't something. I thought this was going to be a thing. Yeah, it's 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 a nice. I could see that being a nice little um, little revision, because you you spend so much time once you get past to what you're familiar with to going on this new adventure, that looping back here and then having it change as well would be a a nice little nostalgic twist. This one's not, uh, you can blow up. Mm. Where I might be missing something. Mm. Order. Do anything. Do anything mm. that doesn't do anything. Mm. I was feeling the familiar is to get more and more distant. Yeah. Like coming back. There was a lot of areas I couldn't get to.
feel like that was supposed to work at one point and opened up that. Nothing here, no secret. Like unless you throw a secret, like a super secret at the uh, exit. Really, you wouldn't. Because there was a, a door, like I'll go look, but I don't think she's going. Game over. So nothing here. I want to take a look in a few other areas just to double check here. Uh, let's go on this one. I can just look it up online to figure out where they are, but. Secrets, yeah. I, like I, I thought we were doing really good, but once we got into that new section, uh, we didn't find a single secret in that new section. That's kind of what makes me want to believe that it would be in the in here. But I don't know. where you would necessarily put it. None of this was interactable. None of this was interactable. think we were going to do more back here. I think so. I don't think there was much chopping bag. Didn't really do anything. No room for anything there. No room for anything here. Like, you could do something in the side. Like, I thought that maybe this would open, but it doesn't. Um. Here, little slot in there. I see. Where is it? <clears throat> Why? Do you have night vision goggles. I'm gonna de stuff it just so I can put night vision goggles on. Oh, is that where the key card was?
Let me see if I wanna quickly we look up uh see if uh just for completion its sake. Alright guys, I'm just I'm taking a look at that thing so I can see where it... This is the old one, that's why it looked so weird to me. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. What are you waiting for? Christmas? It's extended. Okay, okay, okay. So this guy... Okay, so th there is a secret that I saw earlier that I missed. Um, and I was thinking about it, so I I'm in the right I frame of mind here. I have to go through here... So I gotta go through here. And then you would go... Here. I want to go to the other section. Is... This one? I couldn't get back up there, so it's this one. I saw this earlier, but I couldn't jump into it. It's just I was jumping in it incorrectly. There's only two pistol ammo here, so I'm not sure if it was really worth it. Now, where's the other one here? Sweet time to find it. Oh, what? That's a weird one. That, that, weird. Okay, and then the other one is that we're missing is over here. And then what we'll do is we'll no clip around and look at some of this behind the scenes scenery and then I'll pop open the old version uh, just so that we can look at it 
Uh, probably maybe Mapster. So you come out here, and then it's over here. See, it's slightly discolored. Go through here. And there's some ammo. There you go. There's all the secrets. But now you can't go back here. Unfortunate. Didn't mean to do that yet. Oh, oh. Get back to the other level. I don't want to spoil any of the no clip stuff yet. Um, yeah, it's those secrets are up there. Stay right here, just so we have a save here. Um, and just so I can easily find this with the no-clip screen. Let's let me just check this message real quick, and then I'll, I'll see. So we'll no-clip this bad boy. Let's take a look around. Uh, we won't we won't do like show all map yet because we're gonna just cruise. So you couldn't get up here. Oh, I didn't even notice this was a uh, little ledged. It was up here. I thought there was a lot of stuff back here. I was actually kind of surprised. Uh, actually, let's check over this section first. Um, I'm actually surprised how much stuff is even done. Like, probably like a little odd experiments he was doing. Get up here. Nothing up here. I like this little touch. You can see weird that he had, like, all this stuff. Oh, you could see it from over here. Oh, uh, yeah, he really will use that in, like, where, where he placed everything. Really maximize the usage. And even having stuff like this being visible, so you'd see the car come down every once in a while. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll look around for stuff we can see, and then I'll I'll D and show map to see if there's anything we see pop up, and uh, we'll see that. Definitely want to see this train, because there's a whole stop over here that you don't get off on. a nice little detail.
Maybe in this area, like, there wasn't a ton we did in this area, but look at all this extra stuff that he had. For, um, detailing. No, no hidden messages or anything. Let's see. Sometimes you'll find that. Cool little building. Okay, so let's zoom out. DN show map. Uh, so the only thing that really popped out... ...was that little box there, which I'm assuming is just a spawner. Oh, it's kind of weird. Oh, that's how he did it. So he made this transparent a bit so that you could see the flashing light through it. That's cool. Oh, yeah, there's the random lore that we didn't... Got introduced. Then uh, we got that little 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 guy here. There's a little dot that's flickering, but I think, don't think that's anything important. And that's nothing. Pretty cool. Second here, just to flip things. Over. I want to crack open the um, original here. Where is it? Alright, so this is the original dog bill. Or at least as original as I, I found so far. So we could just take a, a quick little peek around this, and then I'll do a brief break, and then what we'll do is I'll come back and I'll actually do mapping. Uh, we might not do an hour locked, depending instead. Um, we might actually just do kind of just some mapping, Let's see. Levels up my time. Depending on how the groove is. So you have, this stuff was pretty much the same. So he had the same uh, secret. Oh, he had a, that, that was secret was still the same.
So this obviously wasn't here, so you couldn't do anything here. You'd go in here, fight this dude. Yellow card's still there. This looked like it was different. I don't remember this part exploding, but I guess this was maybe how it... Fit. Oh, maybe yeah, it did. Yeah, that's that's where the overlords came out. Or a batch of them, at least. Uh, so this is still... Oh! This is a different type of concert. Oh, I could see how this would have been a concert hall. Because this, even this, is different from the uh, the one we we played. And you can definitely tell this this was something different and changed. Well, now that you've told. was the same. Still had this little out -of -door, outdoor area. This was still here. Still had your interesting little This area is a little different. Where is this? Oh, this is where it ended abruptly. Up up here, and then there's a little exit. Okay, so this is the original exit. The section was the kind of the same. This, uh, this was a different color. Same, same, same. It stayed the same. That was the same. This is different. I don't remember this little 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 doghouse here. I do remember this section. It seems like the it's slightly altered. where all these guys poured out. Okay, okay, that makes sense now. So, oh, this, this, they changed the door. It's, there's some changes that it's kind of weird, like, you had more detailing here. Makes sense given the history, yeah. That's a cool map. I liked it. Definitely interesting to see more stuff from Taibo.
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brief break here for like five or ten minutes. I'm going to go to the bathroom, grab a refreshment, grab a little snack, maybe quickly think about what I'm going to do for, for dinner here, uh, just to plan ahead. And then what I'll do is when I get back, that's when we'll transition to the mapping section. Um, now that we kind of warmed up by playing that, I thought about I still might do another level today, too, but I'm, I'm going to so far say the next part of the segment will just be mapping. Hoping for another let's play. You might not get that after that, but we will be doing uh, some level editing of our own. Uh, working on our little mall location. Um, maybe playing around with some techniques. So that way we don't have to put the hour limit on it today. If we don't want to. And we can just kind of play around with some different techniques and maybe learn through some manuals and things. I was kind of planning on doing that after the stream anyways, just working on a different map. But instead, maybe I'll just focus on this one. And uh, we'll kind of flesh it out a little bit more. Um, vibe by him. I kind of think I want to do the entire Dark I, Is Dark Place the one where they're not actually connected at all? It's just they're... Um... Yeah, I don't know, I just bundled them together. <laughs> I don't know if there's maybe a plot where Duke's traveling through different dimensions. I, I do have Clear the Coast as well. So my backups, depending on how long that this map lasted, was um, Clear the Coast and... I might move those out to Roche Island, depending on how they would flow. Um, so yeah, give me like 10 minutes. I'll be in chat still, still if anybody... Might do, but just give me uh, five, 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Just uh, do a mapping session. And we'll get, get back in. But in a different way. do we want to use? Oh, it's a lot. This one. Um, but yeah, I don't think... The... Backlash that map got from what I hear, but I wasn't around there. Um, was kind of a little undeserved because I felt that extended portion felt more Roche like than the first portion. Diverse array here. And then there's some stuff that's like I have a screenshot of and like I just like it from a build aesthetic. You can't see what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why I'm like, without seeing the original original. Um, it's like the cars are the closest thing and then the second part. And imagine the, the stress having to change a map like that. So many times.
to <clears throat> just click a bunch and then I can always get rid of some later. A lot got textured upon Pascal's reaction. But anyway, it's just so Taibo didn't care. I guess. It, it, it's it's kind of weird because it's like, at least from the Taibo maps I played, I don't think I would have ever really considered him very Roche like in style. So, granted, I, only th I think I only played two of his maps, right? So up until this point, this might be my third. made lists. I only stay up for like less. I think that would have been very interesting to see that that general aggression. What's happening? 
What is happening? Okay, guys. Let me get switched over here. We took a little longer than I anticipated. Seriously, relax. Does he like pop off? No. Oh. Don't. Well, he just did. <laughs> Is that how it, that that's all he does? Like he's got a scan. Oh. Yes. Sorry, Kinder Surprise toys are kind of cool. Just be cool. So cool. Now, now look at the. Falling apart in my hand. Ah. Board up. Actually, while we're at it, too. as well. and about this no oh, kiki nothing to do with you okay there add it to our little little log here that's all add it to a little log which is a future thing for me um i'll get back to the keyboard up
There we go. Let me turn some tools on here, because uh, we got some add-ons, right? So we got our shading at guy. I want to turn clipping off a little bit, just for non-masks only for now. Go through. Um, and this is kind of what we're... I, we're going to go back in here. Unless we decide we want to flip over and do something else. And... I think what we're going to do right now is I'm going to do a little um, test area for the idea I was thinking about for teleporting, where we kind of fake all this. So I'll do a... I'm going to keep what we have here. This isn't the final design for this this um, scenery here, but I want to... I don't want to go too complicated just for this test, so let's copy what we already have. Um, trying to do. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm trying to set music on for me. If I can listen to something else. It plaques the ceiling over the water area. And in a bounding sector, then have water entry only for pump room. Off to the side out there. I know what you're talking about. But that's that's the problem is that's kind of what I don't visually want because I'm kind of relying on people knowing like that I, I I can definitely make it work if I absolutely had to but I already know I can do this uh, maybe I'm just being overconfident in my mind I know I can do this using Troar I feel I could make this work I'm not like very confident in my ability to execute it, but conceptually I, I know I can, but I, I think I could do this a different way. And I want to just do a different way as an excuse. So I'm not just trawing everything that I'm like, okay, let's just draw it, draw it, draw it. Like I want to, but I want that top to be kind of open until you jump in and then it's going to close off. So it's, it's a one-way trip, let's put it that way. You'll get up there, go in the water, one-way trip.
Like, I could have it so you don't climb up the rocks to get up there. And you would go through a door, because that would be an easy way to teleport. In fact, we could do it as, as a sector over sector teleport. We could just build this whole area again underneath. Well, I don't think we could. Exactly, it'd have to be a little offset. But still, we could, in theory, do it. I'd probably just teleport you out. I like how I already know how I could do this, but I'm intentionally trying to think of different ways to... I'm going to spend longer just to do different ways. Just, just for fun. not a way to make it so that my music can play while you Or can I do it this way? Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. Sorry guys. This is a really stupidly delayed thing. I thought something would be super easy. It was not. Such such is the way life. But this might change everything for me. Kick it, kick it, kick it.
Okay, Kiki, I kind of need my mouse, and you're like sitting on it like it's an egg. It's kind of weird. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kiki. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't want to mask that. That was probably Kiki. So that that's what I was thinking about doing. It's just that. Well, so I the, I think the plan here is for visibility. Like we'll do the test first, and then we'll, we'll go from there. I think I found a system that might work here. Sorry, I had to do like a weird setup here due to limitations of technology. It, worked. it seems to be working now. I can see chat and listen to my music at the same time. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're gonna clone this. Just for this test, right? Um, cause there's, there is an idea where what I could do is, cause I'm thinking about doing that skylight here and like I, I got it. Oh, uh, so I, this skylight would be not necessarily in this exact same spot, but it would have maybe like god rays of sorts, so that when you go this way, as you're kind of walking away, you'd get the um This is gonna look bad for this, but you'll you'll hopefully get the idea. I'm going to probably play around with a lot more detailing to make it work if I do it this way. 
but I kind of did something similar in my diner map that I was working on. Do uh, this. How big do you get? Two fifty five. I don't know if I want two fifty five, two fifty five. Do this for now. Rotating. Oh, there we go. Just pretend like that's there. Ugh. And I think I would slant the ceiling a little bit, so like it would it would swoop down a little bit. From, uh, let's, let's insert some points. Actually, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll do uh, Alt F for here. Than a first wall. Right, so we could slant this down a little bit so that this would get bigger. I don't think this is the right size for this area still. Like, I, I might still narrow this off. Um, because then you could maybe. Sorry, I just wanted to do something and...
stupid. I failed. so well. I was hoping I could do something different with you two. Do it with OBS, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll set that up. Trying to, what I'm trying to do is just so people understand why there's just like nothing happening on screen. Like, you know, it was terrible. So I was trying to put my I, I have YouTube Premium for to stop the ads and because I do it for my whole family. Um, but it also gives me YouTube Music, so that's what I use for my primary music app. So I'm like, okay, I'll play YouTube Music, but I use YouTube on my phone to see chat. But you, I can't. Well, I could find out a way to do it through the browser but then my timeout my screen keeps timing out and there's no way for me to stop my screen from turning off so I'm kind of Screwed. I can do it. Yeah, because this keeps trying to do that. And technology like they put weird limitations on certain applications where I'm like I don't know like because if you how would you do it why would you do that
There's no way. There's no way to do it. The way I could do it is through this. But I don't know how to... do so I'm doing like troubleshooting for OBS that you can't see while I'm trying to figure this out terrible idea. It's probably going to break something. on the stream. Um, but yeah, this, this this is my thought. is like, because we'd have that shining down and you could have layers. By the time you get back here, you really wouldn't see that because the visibility distance, right? So I'm not... Like there's definitely ways we could we could hide it. Um,
I'm gonna answer my question for me, actually. Just sorry, guys. I, I think I got it. I'm, I'm on the cusp of. Uh, solving my my issues. If I did even better. Did that work? Did it work? Did it work? Thanks for joining. Yeah, so the idea is we'll do duplicate here. Okay, so this is one way we can do it.
guess we'll do a less co less copy. Let's delete this. Let's do a, a test one in this just little area. We'll select both. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay. You select. Do is first wall. Just a little bit. We're gonna first wall this so we can slant it. Big. This would be closed off. Okay, so this is your closed off bits. We're gonna make this. The water in this scenario.
Oh my god. How many things are there? What I'm thinking about doing is we're going to do a, try to do a teleport one, and we're going to do um, also at the same time a um, drawer one just to see how both kind of work. Kiki, don't come up here. No, Kiki. No, 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 no. You can't come up here. You can stay down there. I'm sorry, but you, you're just you're just a menace. Nobody ever looked up these questions, like is, is or it's just like the internet's so garbage now at trying to find things. for a minute while I sort this problem out.
I sat down looking down here. Oh well, I give up. Okay. Thought I had it, but I don't. So we'll shrink this room down just because it's too big for this test area here. this by yeah and what we're thinking is teleport once you get up here No. That's what I'd want to do.
64. It's sort of spread. I want to save my map. A little bit overlap here, but that's okay. Just a little wrong, that's all. Going to be underwater. Then we're going to need the grid size back to large here. So, how we would do this, we would need a sprite and we'll make him flat. Uh, we'll give it the water here. We're going to expand this just to make it easy to find stuff. There is a search function in here, but I, I don't really know what the shortcut for it is. Make this big. Sixty-four by sixty-four is one twenty-eight, so this should be one blocking on it so
gonna add masking on, so. It's not, uh, sided. I'll be this bad boy. See, I feel like it being solid, it's going to sell when you dive down. So you understand why it's blocked. It would be cool if you could do one-sided transparent. Kind of working again this isn't going to be the final design we're just seeing if this will work from a gameplay perspective it's a weird technique we're trying I don't know how sharks work, really, so if I throw a shark in here... I don't know what they need to function properly.
Yeah. This would be all like rocky, I guess. So I guess we could put some uh We'll do the ones where the water shimmers. I like how I'm contemplating temporary textures for this thing. There was another one that had like a shimmery water effect. I know there's that sidewall one I just saw. Just for now, we'll just leave this one. Just wanted something to differentiate this. Reset this guy. And... We'd be able to go down here. Turn off my... Um... this into water. I remember how to do this. Uh, each. That's to be cool. Oh no, I did it to the wall. I don't want that. I do it this way. can't. What I want to do is put a
I just don't have the press. Oh, yeah, I was just pressing the wrong button. Must you um mess with me? Um, so we want to do what? Are... I'll leave that there. I feel like I eventually I would change the palette if we're going back here and make that visible. Right now, I just want to see what happens if I run this. <laughs> I haven't got it done, not done so far, considering I spent like half the stream trying to figure out how to play music at the same time. From it's just. Open up, uh, you do here. Make sure I got the water right. Thank you. 
but I, I wasted a lot of time trying to figure out how to play like YouTube music for myself while I was doing this. No, because I have to listen. I have to play. The only way I can see chat is on my phone, which pauses you. There's probably a way I can figure it out, but. Water! Yeah, right now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of something. Who's the shark, though? Oh, there he is. Or well, it's not that he's little. I think he's a little. Baby. I think it's because this isn't flagged as underwater, and that's the problem. Not for the shark, but technically, yes. I don't know if that'll work, because if I'm teleporting, you would know the, tele the shark moved places. So it would probably be better to have the shark not there. And, uh... Go from there. So I have to flag it as underwater. I'm gonna actually put the shark back. So I can. Above or underwater? Well, he was just stuck at the bottom, so it was a little confusing. Okay, so he's behaving a little bit more appropriately. We got the little aquarium aspect working here. Um, now I can't quite go under it yet. And I am swimming right now. So, not exactly how I want it. So I'm thinking, yeah, it might be better if I remove the shark. And we would just have, like we could release sharks in here, I think. But. Fake it. So we want to remove the underwater tag. Um, no.
Goodbye, shark. Goodbye, tag. Uh, I might do it so you still float. Can you float on water textures? an idea. I do have an idea. We're just going to do that temporarily, so like as a, an idea of why you wouldn't be able to see further, because we're going to do a copy of this, right? So what I'm going to do is this. Um, insert a, let's go back to Big Boy.
you talking about sprites to hit it? Oh my god. Not out. Not out. Four. High enough to. To jump on? Or do we need like a one in between? Break these down a little bit. There's a few diff different techniques I think we're going to do. We're going to do a few li little examples of this one and see which one we like best. Um, but the one I know how to do last. <laughs> so we have this here. I think I'll catch you up with you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Pleasure. You as well, you as well. Did 
idea is you would teleport once you get up here, right? So you get up here, and once you reach here... Hmm. He made this a thicker glass. Do it so you pass a, a thin little... My thought is when you submerge under the water, that's when all of a sudden you kick in. Make these guys behave like water, though. Oh, 
parallaxed walls. Do I want parallaxed walls? This is what I want. Okay, I'm gonna feed my cats. I'm gonna quickly grab something, and then uh, so I'm gonna do a brief break, uh, and then I'm gonna follow this tutorial. Um, Suites website. Give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna grab something here and then I'll be right back. I think this might actually solve the problem right away without us having to do anything else. Maybe.
Locked on the mapping thing, but I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna continue this test map part. Maybe in a separate window or something. Understand how to do it so I can show you. 